Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Daniel. Huge thanks to Daniel and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Daniel reached out asking for a high-powered Angel Typal deck led by Jada, Font of Hope. Quick note, I don't want to get political on this channel. Watsi wants us to use Typal instead of Tribal. I think the word Typal is silly. I've been using Tribal for many years, but it's not my call. I'm a white American, so the word tribal doesn't mean anything to me. But my good friend who's both a lawyer and a Native American said that Watsi is correct, and the word tribal is a bit offensive in the way Magic players use it. Let me state that again. I'll be using the word typal not because Watsi asked me to, but because a Native American friend asked me to. Also, before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Jada Font of Hope is a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two legendary angel with flying and vigilance. She makes it so that each other angel we control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it for each angel we already control. We can also tap Jada to add a single white mana, but we can only spend that to cast angel spells. So we want as many angels as possible in this deck. But Daniel asked for a strong deck. Not CEDH level, but powerful nonetheless. That means this list doesn't have a budget. Now, we're not running any reserve list cards, but other than that, there are no restrictions on the budget. The problem is, to make Mono White strong, that means one thing and one thing only. Stacks. So if you're the type of player who hates stacks and thinks the game is better without it, you'll probably hate this list. Also, you should run more removal. Speaking of running removal, we should check our handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. As I'm sure you've heard by now, this channel is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. For the past few years, Ultimate Guard has been hard at work finding ways to protect your cards without damaging the planet, and they have discovered it. Boulders, once made entirely of plastic, are now made of 87% renewable resources. They also come in a variety of sizes, including this new Return to Earth 100 card boulder. If you're like me, you have a ton of decks, and don't want those boxes filling up an entire suitcase, then this is the perfect solution. Find out if your local game store carries the new Return to Earth boulders from Ultimate Guard, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. One more thing before we get started. I've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV over on my other channel every weekday in the afternoons. If you want to pop in and ask some questions, chat about Commander, or just hang out, you're more than welcome to. Minus Tirith, Imeria the Sky Ruin, Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, Seraph Sanctuary, War Room, Scavenger Grounds, and 27 planes make up our land base. Mana Crypt, Land Tax, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Pearl Medallion, Smothering Tithe, Sword of the Animist, Knight of the White Orchid, Deep Gnome Terramancer, Wayfarer's Bobble, Marble Diamond, Mindstone, Solemn Simulacrum, and Herald's Horn make up our rather pricey mana ramp package. Endless Atlas, The Immortal Sun, Court of Grace, Smuggler's Share, Brought Back, Enlightened Tutor, Idyllic Tutor, Sensei's Divining Top, Esper Sentinel, and Folk Hero enable us to dig through our deck and find answers. Swords to Plowshares, Disenchant, Darksteel Mutation, Cavalier of Dawn, Teferi's Protection, Aura of Silence, Flawless Maneuver, Destroy Evil, Reprieve, and Fateful Absence help us to remove annoying permanents or to protect ourselves as needed. 
Wrath of God and Farewell are both powerful and effective. Archon of Amaria, Authority of the Consuls, Blind Obedience, Ghostly Prison, Dranith Magistrate, Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, Rule of Law, Linvala Keeper of Silence, Deafening Silence, Winter Orb, Static Orb, Meek Stone, Storage Matrix, and Grand Abolisher help to slow the game down or lock it down as needed. Resplendent Angel, Angelic Field Marshal, Thraben Watcher, Angel of Invention, Angel of the Dawn, Gisela the Broken Blade, Herald of the Host, Radiant Archangel, Lyra Dawnbringer, Adarkar Valkyrie, Sarah's Guardian, Valkyrie Harbinger, Akroma Vision of Ixidor, Bruna the Fading Light, Akroma Angel of Wrath, and Avacyn Angel of Hope make up the core of our deck. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 49 mana sources split between 33 lands and 16 pieces of ramp, counting our commander. A little light, but monocolor decks tend to be. 10 pieces of card advantage, 10 pieces of interaction plus 14 more stacks pieces, two board wipes, two pieces of graveyard hate in Farewell and Scavenger Grounds, one sudden I win card in Winter Orb. No, seriously, I've seen people scoop when this card hits the table. If you can turn one it with either a Mana Crypt or a Soul Ring, the game slows to a crawl. All you gotta do then is tutor a copy of Smothering Tithe and watch the treasures come pouring in. Most of our stacks involves tapping creatures when they come into play, or keeping things from untapping, which is why most of our angels have Vigilance. Not all, but the ones who don't serve other purposes in the deck. Now, Daniel and I went back and forth over other angels that he wanted to see in the deck, but we found that the deck wouldn't have been as strong. Having those stacks pieces to slow the game down so that we can beat our opponents to death with a flying army of Vigilant Angels just sounds like a good time, doesn't it? Do you have an angel deck? Who's your commander? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Daniel, Steve, Kevin, Alex, Cookie, Nick, Borgie, Jake, and Exiled Rogue. You guys are awesome. I post new commander deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.